I don't know that we have enough heroes. We may need more heroes. Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Coffee with Koopa with your host, Sergeant Filthy McNasty. And Koopa. Coming back at you with some, uh, uh, hopefully, um, uh, thought-provoking conversation in your morning. Uh, if you've not yet poured yourself a coffee, uh, cup of coffee, please do so. I have. Um, there you go. I've got some caffeine in here as well, so... Um, with that said, Kupo, uh, what, what mug are you repping today? Let's see that. Well, this here is a Temple Guard, uh, helmet, which is actually now my coffee cup. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now, um, you know, I, I, I heard, um, someone mentioned this in, um, in, in a spaces. I can't remember who it was and I can't remember which X space it was, but it was something to the effect of, um. Uh, you know, does gamefly need to be uh, fun? Uh, is is fun fundamental to gamefly? I think that's what it was. Is fun fundamental to gamefly? Um, and and I think it is. And I think I think DFK is fun. Um, and uh, there there are many ways to DFK. And um, and if you're you're out there thinking that all DFK is is the uh, you know a, a, a fancy gamified decks. Um, it used to be, and you know, and it still can be, I suppose. But there is more to DFK than just the decks. We're much more. We're complicated, um, and we want to talk about some of the things we're doing um, today to sort of enjoy ourselves. Uh, you know, what are what are you what are you what are you doing within the space um, today, Koopa? What uh, how do you, how do you get your frills when it comes to DFK? Well, personally, I think one of my personal favorite thrills right now is just hanging out in the Discord with a lot of our groups and different people and chatting it up with all the different guilds that we have going on. These are future guild opportunities that we have coming out for DFK when those go live. So people are already getting their factions prepared. They're getting their ideas concepted. They got their Gen Zeros. They got their potential crafting and forges and land opportunities. We got people making packs with other people and joining together and looking forward to a bright future. There are a lot of projects out there that basically have some people that are basically just plant some ideas, throw some, some ideas, and then give up in like a matter of days, weeks, or months. These guys are going strong. And the best part is a lot of these guilds are very friendly towards one another. They have friendly competitions. They have friendly chats. There's a lot of mixed uh, groups that are in here from your geese to your mythic squads and every, your jewelers, uh, Bogside. I can go on and on and on. Uh, sorry if I don't mention you guys. You know that you're out there. love you all. But there's so many of you guys to talk about. And everybody's getting along so well. Might be a little bit of a different speculation when PvP rolls around. <laughs> but for right now, we're all getting along together like one big family. Hey, and, and and that's certainly fun, you know. Um, if you uh, if you're into having conversations with people on Discord, I would say the DFK Discord's uh, a fun one. It can be chaotic, but it's definitely fun. Um, sort of jump in and chat with people, like-minded individuals. Um, for me, I think I you know I I think things have changed. You know, um, I sort of fluctuate between what I think is fun within the space. Um. I think at first I wasn't big on Void Hunt, not because of anything other than I've been really short on time, being able to squeeze out a boar hunt uh, or two, uh, especially initially when I, when I wasn't sure necessarily what I was doing. It was a bit time consuming trying to figure things out. And, um, and I say time consuming because I'm one of those individuals who if I fail, if I die, I need to keep retrying until that team of three succeeds. <laughs> uh, so, so here I am, two, three, four, five times at first, trying to trying to figure it out. Um, uh, but but I've been doing more boar hunts uh, of late. I I really think if you're not doing boar hunts today, uh, the time's ticking. Once we start introducing, uh, you know, you know, BYOP, which which Mr. Koopa coined here. 
uh, uh, on one of our streams. If if you're not, you know, if you're not doing void hunts today, um, it's it's gonna be, uh, you know, potentially a bit more expensive down the road for you to sort of participate. So I'm trying to squeeze in as many as many as I can, and and when I say more expensive, I mean more expensive in the sense of you having to um, commit more as far as items and uh, in sort of whatever. Uh, goes into crafting said items uh, that you're 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 wanting to and or planning to bring along. So for me, more, more, more void hunts. But then I'm also doing a bit more summoning these days. I've started Ooh. resummoning things at once because summoning is always fun. It's a it's a, it's a roulette of sorts. I'm very much of the mind that um, if you're gonna buy heroes, if you're gonna craft heroes, I'm sorry, uh, summon heroes. Uh, you know, and, and it almost sounds like I'm wishy-washy because on some episodes I say, hey, uh, you know, wait or don't wait. But uh, but really the time is now, right? The time is now. I really think things uh, are dirt cheap. We're undervaluing, underappreciating our, uh, our our heroes. The floor, the floor prices for these heroes are just ridiculously low, in my opinion, NFA. I don't know if you saw Koopa recently. There was an Axie that sold for a quarter of a million dollars. Now, I wow. don't know that there is a DFK hero out there today that'll someday be worth a quarter of a million dollars. But uh, even even a small percentage of that, I mean, $10,000 for a hero in the future, I it, it sounds like a lot, but it may not be. It, you know, it, it may not be as far-fetched as as we think, and I think as time goes on, um, I was uh, I was on that train of hey, hero inflation um, is an issue. I think with things like expeditions and the fact that a quarter million heroes have been dark summoned, I don't know that we have enough heroes. We may need more heroes. So to me, all these heroes are precious. I need more in my accounts. I want to pick some up before it's too late again nfa what do you think there Koopa? no i'm the same exact way now i love my potatoes i have so many potatoes right now i'd have nothing with the exalted like abilities or anything like that nothing purple the best i got is maybe like a couple giant slayers and stuff like that out there so i got nothing crazy as far as like the abilities go but i got a ton of potatoes now I i'm a sucker for like a pretty look or an awesome name uh, that's just my type of things. I actually have a paladin that's named Trinity Holy Blade. I have a fisherman that's named Starfish. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I am a sucker for this stuff. I also have, uh, I got my high hero, I call her, a uh, Bong Water Shard. So it's a Bong Water <laughs> hero. <laughs> so there's just a lot of potential out there. So it's always, it's everybody plays the game differently, you know? Uh, I love my little potatoes. I love having them like, quest. I like just having them grow. Uh, every time I get a Moksha, I basically use them for my own personal use because I like actually just earning my abilities to level and earning their growth and earning their potential and letting their value increase as I'm also leveling them up also. Uh, I want to get them ready for when we get ourselves the world map exploration so we're gonna have those little baby blubs out there we might be fighting and it's not always having to have your heroes group 10 or higher to fight the boar hunts once a day so there's a lot of opportunities out there it is a big big growing opportunity as sarge was saying floor heroes are under a dollar you guys are missing out right now if you guys aren't trying to get your potatoes filled. Do you want to get yourself your armies? Everybody, I mean, not in financial advice. Everybody has their way of playing things. You might want 100 floor heroes or you might want one or three of like the uh, top tier heroes. It's whatever you want to do, whatever way you're playing. That's the beauty of DFK. Everybody plays in their own unique way. Your way is not wrong from the next person. Everybody has an opportunity to grow in different ways and expand. But what it all comes together is the ecosystem that we're going to be coming together with once the game becomes an actual game. And and um, you know it's it's interesting uh, you know the game piece, right? I um I'm convinced that a large percentage, a large majority, if not most everyone, I probably said the same thing three different ways. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> is in game five for you know the money piece they don't care about game they care about you know returns um and and that may be true today but but i really think if you sit down and you you sort of observe dfk from an outsider's perspective 
and you can pair it against some of the other games that are out there. Um, some of these other games seem like copy pastas of other things. Um, and, you know, someone might argue that DFK is a copy pasta of other things as well. But um, the way it's evolving and the way it's panning out, I really see if you sort of compare apples to apples as far as game goes, um, I, DFK is really setting itself up to be something unique, something interesting, a little bit of something for everyone. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you may come for those returns or you may have, you, you may have sort of, um, it, you, you may have been enticed by the return, but you'll stay for the gameplay. Um, thoughts there, Kubo? Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, we've only had Void Hunt probably since, I want to say, October. And we're getting close to like, um, we're kind of like dipping closer to like late winter into spring right now. So yeah, that's like the one thing that these guys have been able to do. We've had ourselves the different uh, drop events that we've had just from the Void Hunts. But it's just been the bore, the bore, the bore. It's getting a little on the boring side. So we kind of want to see a little uh, fresh meat out there. We want to see what new concepts are available. But this is something that this team does. I mean, they want to, they want to bring perfection. They're not just bringing out a buggy mechanic and just say oh we want to please the people here's a buggy mechanic and the game crashes it's not getting your your returns that you want your people are complaining that they're not getting the things that they want crypto is a little bit more different than your typical like mmorpg where if they have like a like a character they get stuck on the wall or whatever it's like oh hey you know we'll just refix it and whatever no it's like hey i paid to get in this thing or i'm not getting the money i earned for winning this thing so it's a bit more of a sensitive topic yeah dfk is kind of like bringing that together uh, and they really want to make sure that the, what they're releasing is going to be a solid foundation for what they got going out. We basically, as of this streaming, it only have four uh, codexes like deciphered right now as far as your heroes go. You got your Holy Trinity, which involves the knight, the priest, and then the archer. And then you got your your uh, your your stepchild over there, the warrior, which was just the fourth one that kind of just tagged along. Uh, don't get me wrong, those warriors are pretty like pretty amazing. And if anybody's ever seen what Sticks Intern has put out as far as like what warriors could do, you'd be surprised. But going back to the other conversation, we need a little bit more. And uh, once the game actually evolves into that, you're gonna look back and like, wow, remember when we only had like boars and that's all we had going on? And we have ourselves different hunts going on, we got different worlds going on. We're working on other people's lands and crafting stuff and going to like dungeons and together and stuff like that. So there's a lot more that DFK has to include. It is a slow process, yes, but I don't look at it as Rome wasn't built in a day. I feel DFK is going to be the Grand Canyon where just take a little extra time to be something majestic. I, and, and things seem so topsy turny, bizarre world if you think about it. The idea of Jewel being at the price it was when the Wishing Well was the only thing available um, to where Jewel is today with everything that's been developed since then. Uh, you, you, would, you would think the price would be, you know, sort of flipped around and maybe make a, a bit more sense there. Uh, but but you're right, Kupo. I mean, the team is developing. Huge kudos to to Winston Jazz Hands. I mean, I've not seen, uh, and, and not to say it's not happened. I'm sure bugs have been out there, and they you know they happen every so often, and maybe someone catches them on on the back end. If that's the case, I don't know about them, but I don't want to. I don't like talking in absolutes. Um, uh, but with that said, I mean the the team's really out there putting sort of a very well polished product. Um, that in time um, will become a, a, an even funner sort of product. You know, we've talked about crafting. We're talking about potential new classes. Uh, we've talked about, you know, um, just everything we've done today and what, what's keeping us entertained. Um, it's just, I can't imagine a world where things don't get even funner a year from now. Um, anyhow... Uh, what are your thoughts, you the viewer? Um, what are, what are you doing today? Sort of have fun within the space. Uh, what do you what are your thoughts about the things we we like and we're enjoying? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Again, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe. Until next time, this has been Sergeant. Take care. Have a nice one.